you tell us something about sequence stratigraphy? And you are one of the pioneers, so... Well, um, I had noticed in, um, in geophysical interpretation, I was a seismic interpretation, patterns that uh, I thought were very interesting and needed explaining. They cut across timelines, as we thought uh, the times, the depositional time uh, uh, fit. And so uh, I, um, I didn't really understand them thoroughly, but I read, I'd written a paper on the thing, and the paper had been published by the AAPG. And um, so I got some uh, initial start in, in, on the sequence, on the subject. We called it at the time, uh, we called it um, uh, seismic stratigraphy. Uh, the idea of calling it sequence stratigraphy came later. And um, uh, in the, um, uh, I, I lose my train of thought every <laughs> once in a while. Okay, but uh, w which is your relationship with the work by Peter Weil? Well, that's what I'm coming. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. That's what that's what that's what we wanted to talk about. Yes. Okay. All right. Right. At any rate, uh, the uh, the AAPG uh, thought that uh, that that this work work of Peter Weil's was very important, and therefore uh, they would have a school of, uh, of seismic stratigraphy uh, and Peter Vail would be uh, uh, one of the people uh, to run the school. Where? Here in Houston. And um, uh, Peter uh, gave me an invitation to join them and so that's the first time I really joined Peter Vail in any activity. It was uh, at an invitation because of this SEG school. Uh, not SEG school, I'm sorry. This AAPG school. How, how, how was meeting him? What? How, how was discussing with him about sequence strategy? Oh, it was very interesting. We both, we both had observed many of the same things and we uh, just, just learned to discuss that situation. And uh, at any rate, uh, I wasn't the only one uh, who joined this um, uh, course to be taught on the subject of, uh, of uh, seismic stratigraphy. So, um, uh, at any rate, the, the first course in seismic stratigraphy, actually it was given in Dallas. And uh, um, afterwards, uh, the word got around among geologists about what a good school it had been. And there was suddenly a lot of demand by geologists to have another opportunity to go to this school. So the, uh, uh, the SEG asked, uh, asked uh, Peter Vail and other people who were involved with it. He wasn't the only one. There were about, uh, about uh, oh, 10 of us, I guess, maybe nine or 10 of us who were involved with it and um, involved with the first school. And so we got the invitation to, uh, to uh, put on another school. Meanwhile, we had among ourselves discovered that the different ones of us who were involved with, the, with teaching that different aspects of the school, uh, we were learning ourselves. At any rate, um, the, uh, the, SEG, the AAPG schools uh, became very, very popular, and there were a lot of these schools given. I don't know how many altogether, but probably, uh, probably at least twenty of the schools given uh, to make it a, a, a double school, given each time. So that meant a lot of geologists were able to attend uh, the uh, attend our lectures, um, and so at any rate, uh, instead of just simply uh, repeating the same school that, that had been given in Dallas, uh, we decided it better to organize it a little better and add a few extra topics because uh, there were some extra, uh, extra aspects that were not in the first school um, because nobody had thought of them yet. <laughs> and, and therefore, 
Um, um, we, we, we got the new school organized and, um, um, and it was given many places. It gave me an awful lot of opportunities because we, we got to travel to these various locations. They were week-long schools. What, what did you learn the very first time that you met these people? Oh, I don't remember school? now <laughs> what, it, what aspect it was, but there were a number of them because uh, of the various people who had been involved with the first school. So the concept... They came with different... It, each had made observations, but different kinds of observations from different from seismic data. And so we hadn't come up with the same general conclusion. Uh, Peter Vail uh, was the one who 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 gave the most important uh, part of the part of the school, uh, because it was basically his idea. Of um, uh, he's the one that the AAPG had originally contacted to give the first school, and so. Um, um, so he was he was in charge of the thing, and uh, but we got an opportunity to travel a lot of interesting places because um, uh, in order to put the school on, uh, they picked the AAPG picked various resorts to to give this. So we were always giving these things in in very fine locations with excellent uh, excellent accommodations. They were given off off time from the from the major uh, major uses of those uh, facilities. So we gave schools in Jackson Hole, in uh, in uh, in um, what's the town up above Salt Lake City, up in the hills. Uh, we did uh, in uh, Monterey, California, and. Uh, um, uh, various other locations all over the world, in Singapore, in London, in Geneva. Um, so we got an awful opera out of opportunity to do a lot of traveling with the schools. Which was the most difficult concept to explain to your audience? Uh, <clears throat> I think uh, the matter of the of the fact that the seismic data did not follow timelines, but instead following de depositional surfaces. This was a concept that was people were unfamiliar with, and the geologists had had the general background doctrine among themselves of. Um, of uh, the fact that the earth is layered in nice sequences and so on, so that uh, uh, to have uh, reflection, seismic reflections that go across the, the, um, the, the routine, the general pattern, was uh, an exception, and a lot of geologists just could not take that.